we were driving i'm gonna show inside first over here to baltimore from virginia and our driver brian all of a sudden he just starts like going like ah oh, what the hell and he thought somebody was shooting at the bus Look at this storm coming. I am not gonna complain though because I just got off the phone with Charles and the amount of snow that they have is like crazy that it, he'll explain it all. Like there was the craziest thing that happened to their bus because of the weather. But also uh, my sister, she is in North Carolina and they had like seven inches of snow last night or between two days, something along those lines. And it was, she told me this wild, wild story about how they were somewhere on the mountain. It wasn't even that far from their house. It wasn't even like 20 minutes away and it took them four hours to get home. And there was cars all outside the side of the road. It was crazy. And then I talked to my friend Shelly and they haven't had a lot of snow up in Philly in a really, really long time, in like years. And they had uh, their first like really big snowfall yesterday. And apparently we're supposed to have like weather in the 30s tomorrow. It is just, Global warming, my friends, it is wild. This is our winter. I can't even imagine what our summer is gonna be like. But I'm off to go pick up Remy and start our day. That weather is like, this is gonna be a bad idea. Well, this storm, it is a brewing and it is a common. Here's a fun little story. We were driving. Oh, I gotta make sure not to do that. Okay. We were driving. I'm gonna show inside first. Over here to Baltimore from Virginia, and our driver Brian. All of a sudden, he just starts like going like, ah, oh, what the hell? And he thought somebody was shooting at the bus, but apparently, let me just show you right now. The bus window broke, just shattered. Luckily, it's on the outside. And the worst part about it is now we have to be super careful because this door is so heavy so that way we don't shatter the whole thing because it's a custom window. As you can see, it's very odd. It doesn't exist. So we had to put this like little plastic wrap on it in order to keep it from popping out essentially. Yeah, so our bus broke. Our bus window shattered, I guess I should say. It's pretty gnarly. Feel it. Apparently what it is is that these things are double paned with nitrogen on it, inside it because then that way if that happens it does what that is and it doesn't fog up. Okay, I need your opinion. Remy won't give you an accurate... <laughs> Look how cute she is, I hate it. I'm gonna kiss your face off. I was asking my friends if they thought my house was like too like neutral colored. We're gonna go, you have to come down here and they're like, yeah, it's a little old. I'm like, crap, okay. Well, I have a question. Do you guys think that this green, these green things look weird? Because I was thinking of putting these up, these green, beautiful, because I love green, it's my color, but these green curtains, or do you think I should stick with those? I can't tell, I'm gonna put them both up really quick. Let me put them both up, so hold off, watch what I'm about to do. I want it to be like 
me. Hey, okay, let go. Let's see. Let's see what is. So we got this. We got grand, and then this is them closed. This is them. Oh, I'm sorry. This is them open. My brain. And this is them closed. Oh, it's nice. I mean. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That sounds like. I can't tell. I can't tell. Looks like I must have slept through a blizzard or something along those lines. But Ryan was saying how scary that was. He literally thought people were shooting at us. So we got lucky that that wasn't the case. One thing I was going to do when I got here was going to go to the harbor. I was going to take like an Uber and stuff like that. But the good news is we're right next to the harbor. I don't know what's in there. Looks warm. But it's closed. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> now we're good. That wind was killing my eyes. My hands were frozen. Thankfully, I found these. I didn't know where they were actually at. I should have taken the We The Kings beanies, the emo ones and the alien ones. I don't want to go steal from the merchandise yet. Yet. I will soon. Let's go over here. We'll show Remy all the snow. So much snow. I didn't bring boots, so I probably shouldn't do too deep. Can you tell it's cold outside? That's nice though. Ali was saying how it was like 80 degrees and then the next day it's like 60 and then tomorrow I think it's gonna be 30. Oh, I'm skating everywhere right now. Coast Guard over here too. Basically I have 30 minutes to kill. Oh, some black ice. Whew. Before we have sound check. Since today's not a headlining date, we gotta go back to our shorter set. It's been really nice to play longer during the headlining stuff. We play like an hour and a half or unfortunately limited this tour. Oh, look at it, it's all frozen. <laughs> Typical situation, I get exactly where I wanna be and then I get a text saying that there's a uh, sound check. So now I gotta go all the way back and then I'm gonna come back out here because yesterday we were on the bus the whole day because it was raining and snowing. So it had this weird misty grossness. So the second you walked out, it was way colder. There was barely, it was flurries and it was barely any snow, yet it actually felt colder and disgusting but my point is we were all pretty much on the bus the entire day because of the fact and i couldn't do it today even though it's colder it's like 28 29 i just could not bring myself to stay on the bus again all day so even though my toes are freezing my face is freezing everything's freezing i still have to get out i have to do something it looks like everything's closed the entire harbor usually on here it's completely packed so it's kind of nice Clearly I have to do some cleaning up, but I kind of like the green. And they weren't expensive, so it's like you can't you can't beat it. And you know, I'm, I have the white one so that I can switch it out for seasons, but I just, I don't know, it was getting so like, blah in here. And I feel like it was a fair trade for what I had to return. So, I don't know, I like it. You want another one? Yeah, because somebody else got it for me. <laughs> Who did? Oreo. Don't give Oki Oreos. I was telling Charles, I was like, so how's it going with the snow? Because my sister's in North Carolina, like I told you, but basically what happened with her is they got an exponential amount of snow last night and it took her like four hours to get home. And I think I may have already explained this too, but I was just on the phone with her. She was showing me all the snow out in there, like beyond their Airbnb. And they had to park on the side of the road because they couldn't get their car up the driveway because it was so snowy and so icy. They lost their power last night, so they had no power throughout the night. The house got down to 45 degrees. She said it was so cold. And finally the power kicked on this morning and now they finally have a tow truck coming and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. But she said it's just been like the craziest experience in the world. And when it took them four hours to get home, they were only like, from my understanding, 30 minutes away from their house and cars were just like flying out the side of the road. She said it was really, really scary, but that's why it took them so long is because they went super, super slow. And um, I think a lot of cars were learning after the trouble that they were having with all these other cars flying off the road. So I can only imagine what that's like. That terrifies me. That's the thing about snow that I do not like. It's like the icy conditions and the black ice. Not a fan of that. I just wanted to play the game for the sake of it. That's all right, I gotta spin it though. Oh. Oh, it's a terrible spinner. You broke it. <laughs> What'd you get? 
Pomegranate. Oh, I got the dead fish. That's what I just ate. Oh, you just, ate dead fish? Just grab a handful. Yeah, you try. Oh. oh, God, no. I gotta find the juicy pear. I know there's a juicy pear in there. You got a good one? Oh. What'd you get? I don't know. <laughs> juicy pear. I win. It's how bored we are. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing to work? <laughs> We're amateurs, so we just have to regroup, think outside. <laughs> What'd you get? There are these weird Clark, are you gonna play? <laughs> My mom used to play. <laughs> you got dead fish? I got dead fish. Why would they, oh. how do they even figure that out? Mine, like, mine literally tastes like fireworks, like smoke. <laughs> it's all goofy here. Silhouette, that's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Here, just move, I wanna look at Rachel McAdams anyway. It just burns up all your <laughs> out just after sound check to check out the uh, sunset because it looks beautiful I saw it outside the bus it's actually really 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 gorgeous this aquarium would have been so cool to see look how many levels and floors there are so cool man I blew it <laughs> 